Square ABCD has sides of length 1 cm. Triangle CFE is an isosceles right triangle tangent to arc BD at G. Arc BD is a quarter circle with its center at A. What is the total area of the two shaded regions? So we have been given ABCD is a square of length 1 cm. CFE is an isosceles triangle tangent to arc BD at G. Now, we need to find out the total area of the two shaded regions. So, our approach to solve this problem is to calculate the diagonal of the square and equate it to AG plus GC. If you take the diagonal as AC, then that should be equals to AG plus GC. So, first we need to calculate the value of GC. To calculate the value of GC, we need to know the value of EF. So let us say CE equals to CF equals to X. Then by Pythagoras theorem, we can write down EF equals to square root of CE square plus CF square. Which is equals to square root of X square plus X square that is root 2 into x. Now you can clearly see that CGF, CGE, they both are again isosceles right angle triangles. So CG and EG and FG, all of them will be equal. Also if you observe, G is the circumcenter of the isosceles right triangle. So we'll have CG equals to EG equals to FG that is equals to half of eg which is equals to root 2 x by 2 that is x by root 2. So now we will go ahead and equate ac to ag plus gc because we know ac is diagonal of the square that is simply root 2 ag is radius of the quadrant or quarter circle which is equals to 1 because we have A is the center, AG, AD, AB, all of them are equals to 1. And GC, to calculate GC, we already did the work. We calculated what is EF. And from EF, we calculated what is GC. And GC, we know, is equals to x by root 2. That should be equals to the diagonal of the square, which is root 2. So we calculated EF, from EF we calculated GC. AG plus GC should be equals to AC. AC is the diagonal of the square which is equals to root 2. So we can calculate the value of X now as X equals to root 2 into root 2 minus 1. We will just keep it like that only, we will not simplify it further. Now what is the required area or what is the total area of the two shaded regions? That is nothing but equals to the area of the square minus the sum of the areas of the isosceles right triangle and the quarter circle or the quadrant. So we can easily calculate what is the area of the isosceles right triangle because we know that is half x square. We also can calculate area of the quadrant that is one fourth of pi r square. And we know area of square is 1 because we know the side is 1. So let's go ahead and substitute these values to complete this problem. So we can write down required area equals to area of the square that is 1 square minus Area of isosceles triangle CEF that is half into x into x, x square or root 2 whole square 2 into root 2 minus 1 whole square. Plus area of the quadrant which is pi by 4 into r square, r is 1 so it will be pi by 4. Let us simplify this we will have required area is equals to
1 minus 2 and 2 will cancel root 2 minus 1 whole square is 3 minus 2 root 2 plus pi by 4 considering root 2 equals to 1.414 and pi equals to 3.14 we can simplify the one minus three minus one minus bracket start three minus two point eight two eight plus zero point seven eight five on simplification we will get required area is zero point zero four three square units so the required area is zero point zero four three square units so the logic which is involved in this particular problem or the point to calculate the value of x is that the diagonal of the square is equals to the radius of the quadrant plus the cg length. So we started with taking the length of side of the isosceles triangle as x then we calculated ef then we understood what is the value of cg then we said ag plus gc equals to ac then by that we are able to get the value of x so with the help of which we can easily calculate the area of the isosceles right triangle and we know area of square and area of quadrant so we substitute we got required area as 0 0.043 square units